Hello and welcome to Art Sundays. My name is Francesca and today we will explore some of the inspiring works in the Unearthed Photography Roots exhibition and learn how to make a summertime flag. Unearthed Photography Roots exhibition explores a history of photography through nature. The exhibition includes over 100 works by 25 photographers. Born in 1828, Cecilia Glacier became one of the world's first female photographers. Known for her botanical studies, Cecilia also created her celebrated British fern works. For this workshop you will need some calico, paper and card, printed inks, a stick, thread, needle, string and foam paper, rollers and an inking tray, scissors, a pencil, a glue stick, and a ruler. Let's take inspiration from the natural forms and shapes in Cecilia's work. The next time you are outdoors, really observe the bold colours and natural shapes. Try drawing or take some photos. My design will be abstract shapes. To achieve this, I will draw from memory. Drawing from memory is a representation of reality. Give us a go. So let's begin. So first I'm going to make the template for the flag. My piece of paper measures approximately 30 by 20. But you can make your flag bigger or smaller, it's really up to you. So find the middle measurement and then I'm going to mark out 10 centimeters on each side. And then I'm going to join those two lines together to meet the middle line. And that's the shape for the flag. So now just cut those two triangles off. And now we're ready to use calico. Calico is a really good surface to print on, but if you don't have calico, why not try using an old t-shirt? It's a great way to recycle. So place your template on top of your calico. And using a pencil, just gently mark out the area around the template. And now just cut out your flag shape. So you might need a helping hand of this part. So I'm going to fold over the top and this would later be the section I will use to hoop in the stick. So I'm going to do a running stitch along. So just be careful of your fingers and take your time. I always check the back just to make sure that the thread has gone all the way through and then just keep stitching upwards and downwards until you reach the other side. and then just tie a little knot. We 
Okay, so let's design the stamps. So I'm using little sheets of foam paper and they're really great for printing. It also comes with a sticky back paper that you can peel off afterwards. So using a pencil, just draw your shapes. So I'm going for an abstract shape of the natural form plants that I saw when I was outside. So I'm just going to draw this now from memory. For printing, it's quite better to use a shape that's quite bold and isn't too delicate. It just prints easier and doesn't get lost. So I'm going to use two prints for my design. And once you're happy, you can cut them out. So I'm going to place the foam stamp onto some card and this just makes the stamp more secure and stronger whilst printing. So just roughly draw around the outline of the stamp and then cut it out. Peel back the paper and then stick it onto the card. Now I'm going to cut out two small pieces of card and glue them together and stick that onto the back of the stamp. And this just acts as a little handle so that when I'm stamping onto the flag, I can get a good grip. Great, so we're ready to ink up and print. So roll out your ink on your inking plate. Just make sure you've got the even coating of ink on the tray and then place your stamp, stamp facing down and ink it up. And then just push down nice and firmly and peel back the stamp. So I'm going to do a repeat pattern. So I'm going to do a scattered design. So I'm going to space out equally my stamp. So inking up again and then repeating. now we're ready to do the second stamp. So I'm choosing these beautiful bold colours which I saw when I was outside. So really, really trying to recreate those colours from nature. So in the gaps that I've left, I'm now going to print my second stamp. If you notice any gaps on the ink, don't worry, just continue to print on. I think this really adds to the handmade quality of the print. For my last two stamps, the stamp will overlap. So don't worry, I've just placed a piece of paper underneath. Just do that because I think it's quite a good way to continue the pattern. And that's it. So we're just going to leave that to dry 
and now we're ready to place the dowel stick. If you don't have a dowel stick, you could also use a twig that you can collect from the park or your garden. I, I quite like using twigs because they really add a natural element to the flag. So using a piece of string, I'm just going to tie it onto either end just by knotting it around. Great, and now we are ready to display our summertime flag. Well done everyone, I hope you enjoyed the workshop. Remember to share your summertime flag at Dulwich Gallery, hashtag Art Sundays.